Okay, so we've got long-term student Jonathan Moore here is a product of, uh, of uh, the Academy. Um, I've been working with him for four or five years. Um, he's at OSU University at the moment. He's uh, one of the players on the team there, one of the three people I teach on that team, actually. Um, so you can see his old one on the left here. The hand's got a little forward. Forearm was a little too rotated. Ball was back a little bit. Weight was a little on his left foot. And the left-hand grip was a little bit palmy. And what tended to happen, as is Jonathan's tendency, he gets a little bit lifty as he gets to the top of his swing. So that sort of lift there, you can see at the last minute, twists his head a little bit. It's normally because he's out of sequence going back, but his, his, sync and his, his synchronization is pretty good going back here. But it's just a, a little bit habitual where these arms sort of complete a little bit late. The right, right shoulder overturns a little bit. And that really gets him a little bit leaning into the ball. You can see how the, the, the swing there really unwinds from the, the, from the head upwards, really. It's like the head initiates the downswing. And that has a negative effect on the, on the plane of his arms coming down. It makes the arms very steep and makes him have to get underneath it as he, as he swings through. You can see he's getting more and more ahead of it here. You can see his upper body's unwound, putting the left arm in a steep position. So now he's got to slow his body down. His arms lose speed. His arms, right arm widens a little bit. So he gets this sort of early release look. And then his body completely stops. It's very tilted through it and then create some sort of finish. You can see in his new one, these swings are only two swings apart. So what we've done is move the ball forward a little bit, got the handle back a little bit, just altered his posture quite radically. We got him stood a little taller, um, just really tidied his setup up, and then got him much more wound behind the ball, really trying to resist his right shoulder. So he got a, a little bit less overturned with that right shoulder. So the swing shortened itself a little bit. And then you can see as a result of that, he gets much less lean as he starts down. His old one gets the upper body unwinding early. His new one, the knee starts down a little more. So you see how his head's much more behind, the, in line with the circle where it started, whereas his old one looks very much ahead of it. As a result, he can retain his lag a little bit better. And he can start to really keep much more lag in the club, start to get his chest to open a little more through impact. He's got much more lean in the shaft as he approaches it. And then he can even get his shoulders a little less tilted and forearms a little more level through there. Like I say, they're only a couple of minutes apart, those swings, so that's a pretty good change in a couple of minutes. Just let you watch that in motion. You know, his old swing's not a bad golf swing by any means. You know, and the whole reason he wanted to, needed to change his swing really was, as you can see here, <clears throat> the major deal was the fact that, you know, the left arm got in this really steep position on its own here. The arms really, on their way down, sort of work themselves almost. He gets a lot of slack in his arms. His body stops because his arms get so steep. So, you know, we've got him stood better, as we just said, much more correct with his posture a little bit taller, which improved the, the lines of his swing as well, just by improving his posture. Didn't get quite so tilted and draggy at the start. So just by improving his posture, he got the club moving away better without telling him. You know, and you can see, by resisting that right shoulder and resisting his ear a little bit, it shortened the swing quite a lot. The other one keeps going a little bit longer. And you can see his head doesn't look quite at, at such a weird angle looks more supported, body looks like it's wound up better, angles aren't as strange with his shoulders. So then when he starts down, you see his old one, the, the left arm sort of tracks away from him. And that has an effect on the face, it slightly shuts the face, whereas in his new one, his left arm stays much closer to him. So as a result, he doesn't have to react to the club getting too steep. So the club gets a lot more online with a better club face as he approaches the ball. If you wonder why he's got that thing in his mouth, that's just a, a drill to stop his head twisting to get some resistance on the way back with his right side. You see the club comes much more from online, so the shaft doesn't get as high through impact. Body angles look better, and it looks less tilted through impact. Face releases a touch better. And again, there's literally two swings 
out of the video room here. So a pretty good change again. You know, and with Jonathan, because I know him so well, we can we can sort of go into a little bit of detail. But with the other people, we can keep it much simpler. Just work on one or, one or two little tiny things to make the whole chain better. But you know, I'm very much a believer in the the cause and effect of a golf swing. If you can create the correct setup, it will create the conditions to to breed a, a consistent golf swing. You know, it all starts at the setup, and uh, the key to it all is just getting a, a feel to to keep it as simple as possible but change the maximum that you can without getting too complicated so you can have one little key thought that sort of makes the chain go in a, in a more constructive and better direction so you can improve your timing improve the geometry and start hitting it a little bit more consistently